Lindsay Bowgren, Nurse Group Love, and this is your 20 minute first trimester hit workout. We're calling it first trimester because that's where I am. I am about 10 weeks pregnant and this is baby number three. We're already out there <laughs> and we are just, we're here. And Rachel's not pregnant. Not pregnant. She's with us today. <laughs> and, and it's still gonna be a great workout. Yeah, this yeah. is gonna be a tough workout, you guys. And Rachel's gonna offer modifications. So as your pregnancy <laughs> progresses, you can take this work workout into your second and third trimesters as well. All right, we do have to say that you should always make sure that you check with your doctor or your midwife to make sure that you are cleared for exercise, okay? I know tapping a hit workout doesn't sound super awesome in the first trimester, but guess what, guys? There's no jumping, no burpees, and all you need is one dumbbell. So you're doing this with one single dumbbell. Rachel and I each have a 20 pound dumbbell and a 15 pound dumbbell. I don't know what it is, but mentally I can wrap my head around moving one dumbbell versus two and not doing burpees, okay? <laughs> so that's what this is. It's still gonna raise your heart rate. You wanna make sure that you can always talk through and you're not getting completely gassed and can't breathe, okay? You want to make sure that you can always talk through each exercise and then you can continue to breathe and keep that heart rate in a good place, all right? That's what we're gonna focus on today, but we are gonna raise our heart rate and we're gonna build some strength and tackle this full body workout. It is Rachel's favorite format. I love she this loves format. The 20 minute format. It's 20 minutes, nine exercises, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, repeated times two. You only gotta do each exercise twice and oftentimes it's gonna be on one side, okay? So if it's a single sided exercise, it's only once per side. You can mentally wrap your head around that. I know I can. So it's going to get me through this workout, okay? That and we're doing it together, guys. Let's get ourselves started with a bodyweight warm-up. You ready, Let's Rachel? Let's go. Yeah. Let's do it. Feet are stacked underneath my hips. Big inhale. Reach up nice and tall. Exhale, baby. Guys, bend. Pull those shoulders down. Pull the rib cage, rib cage down. Nice. Right here. Reach up nice and tall. Go ahead and just flap the wings. Flap the wings. Flap the wings. We're going to take it to a hinge position. Push your hips back towards that wall behind you. You can keep clapping for three, two, three. One, now you're gonna touch your toes, reach to the ceiling, give me a calf raise. Touch your toes, reach to the ceiling, give me a calf raise, okay? Reach to where you can, up to you. You're opening up the back side of the body and the calves right there. Down and up. You can choose the intensity you take today's workout, okay? It's all time intervals. Move at your pace, your tempo. Go for three, two, last one. Nice, you're gonna squat it out. You're just squatting. Sit back down into a squat. Okay, knees are tracking out towards my pinky toes. Thinking about pushing my hips back towards a chair or a curb behind me. As I stand tall, I bring my pelvis underneath my rib cage, activate those glutes, drive through the heels, stand tall. Nice work, guys. We're just gonna walk through some of the moves you're gonna do in today's workout to get you nice and warm. Squat it out right here for four. You got it. Three, nice work. Two, and one. Step back to lunge, right leg forward, left leg back. Drop that back into the ground. Tuck that pelvis under the rib cage. Pulse it down right here. Pulse for four, three, two, one. Take your hands, clasp them together. You're gonna take your hands to your left hip as you stand, right shoulder. Left hip, right shoulder. Left hip, right shoulder. Now imagine adding a dumbbell to this. Woo. Lunge and chop. It's gonna raise your heart rate, right? Woo. It's gonna engage your deep transverse abdominals. That's what we're focusing on today. Strengthening our deep core muscles. Legs, glutes back, go for three. Nice, two, and one. You got it, same thing, other side. Left leg forward, right leg back. Take it down, find that lunge position. Tuck that tailbone underneath you. Pulse it down, right here, pulse for four. Three, two, clasp those hands right here. Down, hook, right hip, left shoulder. Right hip, left shoulder. Driving through that left heel to stand me tall. You got it, down, hook, down, up, nice work. Stay with me right here. You got it. Go for four. Nice. Go for three. Awesome. Go for two and one. Take it all the way down into a nice low squat. Sink right here. Pry those hips side to side. For three, two, one. Plant your hands to the ground. Find a nice tabletop position right here. Step your legs back. Find a high plank position. Option to take plank from your knees or from your toes. That's up for you. Up to you. Take a nice wide base with your feet. Right here, drop to your forearms, hold here. Now opposite hand reaches in front, or reach your right hand out, reach your left hand out, one at a time. Right hand, left hand, knees or toes. Eight, you got it. Seven, stay with it. Six, you're almost there. Five, yes you can. Four, nice. Three, and two, and one. Awesome job, sit back. Open it up, child's pose. Push the hips back, take a big inhale. Big exhale. All right, bring yourself back up to a standing position. Lateral lunge, and that's how we're gonna finish. So, lateral lunge, center. Lateral lunge, 
center, lateral lunge, Whew. lateral lunges and high knees. We're gonna finish that warm up right here. You got it. Go eight, seven, nice, six, Whew. five. Drive off that bent knee, outer glutes, right here. Three, and two, and high knees for the finish. Keep those knees up, run it up, pump those arms. Rachel's right, got low impact, right here. Go for eight, seven, six, you got it, five, four, three, two, one. Woo. Ready to jump in? Let's go. Grab a quick sit, guys. We're getting in. Nine full body exercises, one dumbbell, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Grab your dumbbell, put it right here in your right hand. It's gonna stay in your right hand for the first couple moves. We're gonna give me a squat to clean. So it looks like this, uneven squat, dumbbells on my right, drive it up, dumbbell comes up, I can help catch it with my left hand, okay? So I go squat, option, balance clean. Squat, balance clean. I'm gonna do the balance clean. Rachel's just giving me the clean, uneven squat clean. It is 40 seconds of work. You with me? Let's go. Woo! Let's jump in, guys. 40 seconds of work. These are strength training moves that are gonna raise your heart rate in a low impact way. You choose your intensity. 40 seconds starts. In three, two, let's go. Squat, fail clean. Squat, fail clean. That uneven squat, loading the weight on one side of the body, increases core engagement, right? You got a big exhale. Option to pull that knee up, transfer the weight from one leg to the other like you do in everyday life. We are unilateral creatures, constantly transferring weight from one side of the body to the other, mimicking that right here. Activate the glutes, activate the core. You got it. You drive and pull that dumbbell up, 10 seconds. Naturally raising your heart rate. Big movement right here to start it off with. You're in it for three, two, one. Keep that dumbbell in your right hand. You're gonna hinge over. Dumbbell hold between my legs. One row, one snatch, okay? On the row, palm faces in, elbow to rib cage. Twist the wrist, palm faces my body, snatch. Rachel's gonna give me an upright row instead of a snatch. We go in three, two, let's go. One row, one snatch. Take it down with control. Row, snatch, take it with control. Palm faces in, palm faces my body, right here. I'm thinking elbow to rib cage, big pull up overhead. Like you're zipping up a sweater. Right there, dumbbell so close to the body. It's a big fluid movement. My legs are actually helping power that dumbbell up overhead. My heels pop off the ground. Big heart pumping move right here. Row, snatch or high pull. 10 seconds, guys. You got it. Yes, you can. Stay in it for five, four, three, two, one. Woo! I'm gonna drop down to a lighter weight, 15 pounds, lunge and chop. Left foot forward, right leg's gonna go back to a lunge. Rachel's gonna shorten the lunge. I'm gonna go right hip, left shoulder. Lunge, chop, lunge, chop. This front standing left leg is gonna be so on fire. <laughs> we go in three, two, let's go. Lunge, chop, inhale, exhale, hip, shoulder, hip, shoulder. The wood chop exercise, why do we do it? Strengthen our deep, transverse abdominals. They run around my body. They wrap around me like a corset, like shoelaces, tie my shoe. This chopping muscle strengthens the fibers in all directions. I love it. It's always like fun facts with Lindsay. Fun like facts. I feel like I learn so much every workout we do together. That's the goal, right? Woo! Squeeze that booty. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo. Empowering you to be strong, educating you to yes. have your body. Do that dumbbell. We'll stay standing on our left leg. Dumbbell right hand. Single leg deadlift or staggered deadlift. Hinge, row, curl, press. Woo! Hello core, we go in three, two, one. Soft bend in that standing leg. Hips are square to the ground, row. You're catching your breath by moving through a slow, stable strength move. That challenges your balance, challenges your core. Kick it back. Single deadlift with a row. Nice, right here. Hips back, flat back. Nice straight line from head to tailbone. Actually, you could go head to heel there. Woo, lost the balance. Nice, recover, get right back in. 10 seconds here. Row, 
Catch your breath. We're gonna raise it again on the next move. In five, four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna take this one dumbbell. We're gonna go two to the right, two to the left. Lateral squat thruster. Holding the dumbbell the long way. Squat, push, squat, push, left, push, left, push. So we're gonna go to the right. We're just taking out the overhead press. We go in three, two, push right, push right. Squat, push, squat, push. Moving side to side. We're gonna move in all planes. Woo! Good for the mind, good for the muscles, good for the knees and joints. Pressing that dumbbell overhead, increasing the heart rate. If it's getting too high, stick with Rachel. Omit that overhead press. You can always slow it down. Move at your pace. Move at your tempo. You got it. Squat. Push. Come on. Ten more seconds here. Yes, you can. Let's go. Finish it. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Recover. Down to the ground. We're going to have your dumbbells. We're going to keep it in the right hand. Bird dog row. Option, stand all fours and row. Option, right knee on the ground. Left leg shoots back. I'm rowing on the right. Hello, core. We go in three, two, let's go. Row. Send the dumbbell down with control. Row, set down with control. Core strength, low back strength, back and core. Foundational. If we're supporting our babies, supporting our bodies through everyday movements, right here. You got it. Row. Okay, you're gonna get a lot of bird dog in pregnancy. There's a lot of ways to make it harder. This is one right here. Row. You can always do this by putting your right knee, right arm on a bench. Give you guys a little bit more range of motion. Come on, stay with me. Five, four, three, two. Give me one more row, you're done. Woo. We're gonna stay on the ground. I'm gonna take this dumbbell and put it out in front of me. Rachel's gonna hold low plane and reach for that dumbbell. I'm gonna do one army crawl, and then as uh, on my forearms, I reach, I reach, push back up to high plank, take the plank from your pace, your level. Yes? We go in three, two, let's go. I go forearm, forearm, reach, reach, push up, push up, drop, drop, reach, reach. This is slow and controlled core, you guys. Okay, Rachel's taking it from her knees, reaching for that dumbbell. Right? Our core stabilizes us as our arms and legs move away from our body. Exactly what they're doing here. Again, hitting those deep transverse abdominal muscles and adding a little shoulder strength, a little chest strength, a little tricep strength. Woo! It's a tough move, but you only gotta do it for five, four, three, two, and one. Push back. Woo! I'm going to my backside. Blue bridge, one dumbbell chest press. Okay, Rachel's gonna show you from standing. It's laying on your back, makes you nauseous. Or as your pregnancy progresses, you can follow Rachel. She's gonna give you a squat dumbbell press out. I'm gonna give you a blue bridge dumbbell press. Actually, Rachel, can you push the dumbbell straight in front of you at shoulder height? Yep. We go in three, two, let's go. Push, inhale, exhale. We're moving that option. Uh, here, here. Down. There we go. Push. Drive through the heels. We're both driving through our heels. Exhaling at the top. Exhale, push. Inhale, down. Exhale, push. Come on. If you want to make this harder, you could always go to single leg. Okay, single leg glute bridge. You're gonna work the other leg next time. I'm gonna stay double leg. Keep it simple. You do your best, forget the rest. It's your workout. Let's go right here. Five, four, three, two, one more. You're out. Nice work, guys. Dumbbells are down. Last move. Move number nine, move number nine. It is a lateral lunge. Two high knees, we're gonna go to the right. To the right, one, one, two. Tap down right, one, two. Tap down right, one, two. We go in three, two, let's go, let's go. Tap down right, one, two. So I'm always going to the right, one, two. Lateral lunge, one, two, come on. Lay down the toes, fasten the feet. Right here, guys, this is it. Move number nine, nine and nine. Last one. You're working for that rest, and then you repeat them. Yes, you can. You're happy to do this workout right here. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. You got this. So strong, so fast. Ten seconds. So powerful. 
That's what you are. You got it, you got it. Stay in it. Come on, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Nice work, Rachel. Awesome job, team. Grab your water. Grab your water. Halfway, guys. One more time. One more time. That's it. So simple. All right? <laughs> Just kidding. We totally got this. Totally got this. One dumbbell. Put the heart rate come down. Catch your breath, walk it off. You can always hit pause. Okay? Same moves. Dumbbell left hand this time, yes? Dumbbell left hand. Uneven squat, clean. Option, add the balance. Same arm, same leg. So that left knee's gonna drive up. Transfer the weight into the right leg. 40 seconds, ready? Let's go. Let's go. We go in three, two, let's go. Squat, clean. I'm helping catch the dumbbell with this right hand, right? I'm powering that dumbbell up by really driving through the heel of my right foot. Rachel's keeping the weight in both heels. You decide what works for you. Come on, strong glutes, strong core. That's what we're after right here with this move. Strong glutes, strong core. You got it. You got it. 20 minutes, we're getting after it. Keep moving, yes you can. 10 seconds here. One rep at a time. Go for five, four, three, two, one more, cause you can. <laughs> Woo! Single arm row, snatch your high pull. Dumbbell left hand, dumbbell goes between the legs. Row it, snatch it. On that snatch, think about pulling the zipper straight up overhead. Lock it out, bicep by the ear. We go in three, two, let's go. One row, one snatch. Take it down with control. One row, one snatch. Big, powerful, full body movements that are gonna build strength and raise your heart rate. Build some endorphins, make you feel good. Get that blood, all that extra blood that's circulating through your pregnant body, flowing and moving. It's a good workout for all levels, you guys. First trimester, second trimester, not pregnant at all. Five. Right? You take this at your pace, your tempo. 10 seconds right here. One rep at a time. Come on. Yes, you can. Stay with it. Five, four, three, two, and one. I'm going lighter dumbbell. My least favorite move of the workout, just gonna call it what it is. Plunge and chop. It's because it's hard. Sinking hard. Right foot forward, left leg back. Dumbbell, left hip, right shoulder. Drive through this right front heel, yes? That's what stands you tall in three, two, let's go. Lunge, chop, inhale, exhale. You gotta control that weight, right? Keep up putting your feet on train tracks. Even up that lunge, drive through that front right heel. What muscles are we strengthening here, Rachel? Oh Lord, everything. Yes. Core, glute, right. quad. Where else do I feel? My arms a little bit, but mainly my hips. Yes, then deep transverse abdominals that wrap around us like our shoelaces, Woo! right here. Yes, you can, 10 more seconds, come on. Let's finish it together, right here. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold the bananas. All right, dumbbell left hand, standing right leg, right? That's right. Single leg deadlift, curl press. You're gonna let the heart rate come down. Single leg deadlift, row, curl. Push out of balance. Tap it with Rachel or float it with me. We go in three, two, let's go. Single leg down this, woo! That side's hard for me. Here we go. You got it, Rachel, sorry. Keep no, going. you're good. I like moving together. It's more fun this way, right? Can you tell what my dominant side is? Whoa, come on, Lindsay. I gotta bring it. When I really struggle, I'm like, okay, find that focal point on the floor. Come on, bring it in. Find that balance. Get focused. Get your mind engaged in the workout. You're not done yet. I know you're on the, the down half of the workout. Stay focused. Stay in it. 10 seconds. You got it. Nice work. Come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well, I know where I got some work to do. <laughs> that single leg. All right, guys. We go. Lateral squat thruster. Front racket, front racket. We're going to take a giant step to our right. We're going to push two squats to the left. I'm going to push overhead. Rachel's going to keep it at her chest. We go in three, two, let's go. Squat, push, squat, push to the right. Squat, push, squat. You got it, drive that dumbbell overhead. 
Big exhale, lock up the elbows. Come on. Driving up those outer glutes. Moving side to side. Press back. Nice work. Keep it up, team. Keep it up. You got it. You're halfway right here. Yes, you can. Last time you're gonna do this move. Just keep moving. Down. Up. Down. You got it. Stay in it. Final ten. Nine. Eight. You got it. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. More. Woo! Partner comes down with the bird dog. Bird dog. Dumbbell. Left hand. Left knee on the mat. Okay? Right leg shoots back behind me if you're capable. Single arm row on this left hand. Keep that core tight. Pull that baby, pull that belly up towards your spine. Nice neutral spine. Kick it back. We've gone three, two, let's go. It helps to keep this left toe tucked under. You got it. One row at a time. Strength training, challenging your core as you catch your heart rate. Like I said, if I had my left knee on a bench, I could let this left arm fall below the bench, give myself greater range of motion. Control it down, control it up. You got it, let's go. 10 seconds, weight should start to feel heavy. Come on, you should feel this, nice. You got it, finish, three, two, one. Awesome job, you're gonna put that dumbbell in front of you. Rachel's got low plank, tapping the dumbbell. I got an army crawl with dumbbell tap. Last time I always dropped with my left arm first, this time I'm gonna drop right arm first. I gotta put a towel down, it's getting <laughs> sweaty in here. One army crawl, dumbbell taps, or just dumbbell taps. We go in three, two, let's go. Right arm, left arm, reach, reach. Put that dumbbell away from your body. Challenge yourself to really reach for it. The harder, the longer the lever, okay, so the farther my arm reaches from my body, the harder it is, right? You can always shorten the lever. You can always add an incline, hold a forearm plank with your forearms on a chair or bench. Bring that ground up. Decrease the inner abdominal pressure, right? As soon as you find yourself with any coning or doming of that midsection, you wanna find an incline. Five seconds, guys. Let's finish it. Three, two, and one. Woo! Glute bridge, glute bridge chest press. Move eight of nine, guys, we're almost there. Eight of nine, Rachel's gonna give me a squat with a push-up straight in front of her. I got it, glute bridge with a chest press. Option single or double leg. If you did single leg, do the opposite leg. I'm gonna go double, we're going three. Two, let's go. Inhale, exhale, there we go, nice, yeah. Nice. In this glute bridge, my knees are tracking straight out from my hips. Nice, you wanna feel it more in your glutes. Bring your heels closer to your booty. The farther your heels are from your booty, the more you'll feel it in your hamstrings, okay? Glutes, chest, shoulders, core, all turned on right here. Push, you got it, push. Nice work, Rachel, stay with it. Awesome job, you guys, come on. Yes, you can, we're almost there. Finish, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job, dumbbells down. It's your final move. It's body weight only. Lateral lunge to my left, two high knees. Lateral lunge to my left, high knee, high knee. We always hit left. Come on, guys. Move let's go. Nine. Finish it. This is it. We go in three, two, let's go. Lateral lunge, drive, drive. Lateral lunge, drive, drive. Come on, stay with it. Finish strong. Full body hip training. No jumping. Just big, full body movement. That raised your heart rate. Got that blood pumping. If you're gonna do it for 20 minutes, make it count. Right, Rachel? Halfway, guys. Make it count. Come on. Just keep moving. Yes, you can. Big finish here, team. Big finish. What would it look like if I said 10 more seconds? Yes, you can. Woo! Bring it home, bring it home. We got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Two, two, double. There we go. There we go. Double high five. <laughs> Grab some water. 20 minutes. Full body hit. Great for everybody. All levels. One dumbbell. Love me. A good one dumbbell workout. I do too. Especially. Yeah. For first trimester. Nice work. Grab your foot towels. Towel off. 
let's pull it down. Great, inhale, reach your neck and toe. Tight right, 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 stretch, left, up and over, side by stretch. Just catch the breath. Nice work, back to center. Switch it up, up and over, other side. Big, big, side by the stretch. Nice, arms and down, step it out. Step it out, so, take it proud, you guys. So let's take it proud right here. Hands are my heart center, and I'm gonna push down into a nice little squat. I'm just gonna pry side to side. Elbows fall inside my inner thighs. Opening up those hips, moving side to side. Should feel really good. From here, I'm gonna come into a tabletop position. We're gonna go for a couple add after hip rocks. So I'm gonna kick my right leg out to the side, and I'm simply gonna sit my hips back, put my toes up to the ceiling, rock forward, rock back, put my toes up to the ceiling, rock forward, rock back, put my toes up to the ceiling. Nice. Hip mobility, something we wanna to continue to work on throughout pregnancy, right? Nice. Strong hips, but also agile hips with great mobility. One more this way. Nice. Come back to a tabletop position. Drop the belly. Lift the chin. Tuck the spine. Tuck the chin. Pull it all in. Come back to a neutral spine. Kick your left leg out. Same thing. I'm going to rock forward. Rock back. As I go back, toes go up to the ceiling. Forward. Back. Hold. Toes to the ceiling. Nice. This is a move I continue to work on for a long time. I almost couldn't get my toes all the way up to the ceiling. The goal is to get my toes straight up to the ceiling. It takes a while to work on this, right? It's a good mobility move to build into your exercise routine. Great for starting workouts or finishing workouts. Two more, two more from here. Nice. Right there. One more. And since we're talking about the hips, let's just finish with some 90-90s, okay? So I'm gonna come into a seated position. I'm gonna bring my right leg straight in front of me, okay? So knee to shoe, parallel. And then I'm gonna take this leg behind me, 90 degree angle right here. I'm gonna create distance between my shoe and my knee. And then it's really easy to lean over here. I wanna think about splitting my front right shin in half. So split that front right shin in half with my midline. So I'm bringing my chest right over the middle of my front right shin. As I do that, I push this right knee into the ground and I push this left knee into the ground. This is an active stretch, okay? Actively pushing both knees into the ground. As I hinge forward, you're gonna feel it in this glute specifically, but you're also gonna feel it opening up this hip. A great hip stretch right here. Okay, something to come back to throughout your pregnancy. Awesome job, hold it here for three, two, one. Nice work, bring your feet parallel. Find them bent at 90 degrees, fingertips face my butt. Nice bridge, chest expansion. As I lift my hips, I think about spreading my chest apart, neck falls behind me. Nice, hold it here for three, two, one. Awesome job, sit your butt back, 90, 90, other side. Left shin comes in front of me, creating distance between my shoe and my knee. Both legs are at a 90 degree bend. I'm gonna split this left shin right in half by hinging forward as I do that. Left knee is pushing into the mat, right knee is pushing into the mat. Opening up this hip and hitting this outer hip. Right here, you guys, awesome job. So sick and proud of you for crushing this quick and effective 20 minute, we'll call it 25, full body hip workout. Hold it here for three, two, one. Sit it back, you guys are done, awesome job. So sick and proud of you. If you want more pregnancy friendly workouts or full body workouts or upper body, lower body, you name it, you can find it all at nourishmoodlove.com. Have an awesome day. We look forward to sweating with you again really soon.